Thank you so much for coming to the Roadshow today and bringing this very interesting book with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about how you acquired it or its history, if you know it. My dad was born in Brooklyn and his father had a rare book uh, business, uh -huh. uh, collected rare books, but unfortunately we just have a few of the books left uh -huh. because my dad's father had to sell a lot of the books during the depression oh my gosh but this is one of the survivors that right, made it through so right. it's a, they, they consider it to be special in its own right i i or, guess yes. you know um, and it passed through the family to you is right. that correct uh-huh um well it is a very interesting book it is a a book of uh, shakespeare's sonnets by the Roy, roycroft press which is a very important american uh, printer uh, that was inspired by the kelmscott press in england to create oh. a series of limited editions of literature and other categories, and the publisher is Albert Hubbard. It was printed in 1899. It's one of 12 copies on vellum, in addition to a second edition of 980 copies on special oh. paper. So you can see that it has this incredible inlay work of Morocco um, leather on the interior. Really? And that is something that was done especially by the publisher we can tell that because it has the imprint of the Roycroft bindery oh. here on the edge. When you have a, a beautifully bound book, it's always important to look on the edges because often the binder will indicate their stamp. It is one of 12 copies on vellum. Do you know what vellum is? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, it's, it's, a, it's either special. calfskin or uh -huh. pigskin. Yeah. And throughout the history of printing, whenever you had a special edition, printers would often set aside a group that were to be printed on vellum and only on vellum because it was very expensive. We see a lot of Roycroft Press and Albert Hubbard books on the Roadshow, but most of them were done in large editions of a thousand copies, 500 oh, copies in yeah. book. So there is an actual another edition of this book from the same year, 1899, that was issued in 980 copies. But this is one of 12 on vellum, which makes it especially oh, significant. Neat. Now, in, in light of that, have you ever tried to have it valued in any fashion? Well, someone said that it was worth around 300 or 400 dollars and maybe more. <laughs> they may not be totally inaccurate because the larger edition, the edition of 980 mm -hmm. of the same book, could have a value of about 300 to 400 dollars. But uh -huh. this is a much more rare copy because it's on volume in 112. Uh -huh. And in fact, only one copy in the last 20 years has come for auction from this series of 12. Oh. So um, three to 400 dollars sounds pretty good. But obviously, your grandfather and father kept it. It actually, um, in the current market context, would probably have an auction estimate of $5,000 to $7,000. Wow, yeah. really? I would say that you'd probably want to have it insured for $10,000 because really? it is so rare. Wow. As I said, it's only one of 12, and it's probably the finest high point from oh. the Roycroft Press. And so My it's a real would thrill. Be so happy. I'm so glad that they kept it. It didn't. Yeah. Slop it down the stairs I, I'm after glad the it wasn't the one that they had to sell.